flooded with your news briefing. The new rule making COVID tests mandatory for all travellers arriving in Australia from China came into effect early this morning. The health minister says there have been no issues with the policy so far, despite Beijing and our chief medical officer labelling the move unnecessary. Mark Butler says the World Health Organisation thinks it's reasonable given the limited information available about China's current COVID wave. These measures are, to use their words again, understandable in light of the lack of comprehensive information about the situation. It's really important that the rest of the world have as much information as we possibly can get. Spare a thought for Western Australia with the state dealing with a couple of natural disasters at the minute. Two watch and act fires have broken out, one in Donnybrook in the state southwest and a second a bit east of Perth. Meantime, Defence Force personnel and aircraft are working to evacuate those stuck in the flood affected Kimberley region in the state's north. The owner of SeaWorld Helicopters has released a statement on this week's horrific crash, paying tribute to all the victims, including pilot Ashley Jenkinson, whom he'd known for nine years. Company owner John Campbellor says his heart aches thinking of Ash's fiancé and son. And researchers have found some proof to back up this saying, procrastination is the thief of time. A study of more than 3,000 Swedish students finding those who regularly put off doing things had an increased risk of poor sleep and struggled more financially. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Aussie superstar Steve Smith has passed some special milestones after notching another century at the SCG against South Africa. Look here, into Smith, and this is the ball. Square at the wickets, into the crowd, on the bounce. Yep, that's going to get a boundary for it. Smith celebrating his 30th Test 100, one more than Sir Donald Bradman, and has moved to fourth all-time on the Australian Test Run scorers list, while Usman Khawaja posted his third century in a row in Sydney. Meantime tonight, the Big Bash League, the Hobart Hurricanes are taking on the Adelaide Strikers. Staying cloudy, light winds around. Then tomorrow, it's looking mostly sunny, heading for a top of 28 degrees. And for more news, the briefing is still on deck over summer. A deep dive on the news that matters each morning on the Listener app. This